An incident in Waikiki last night resulted in several policemen taking down a man from behind. But was this action necessary? KITV4's Jeremy Lee now joins us live. Jeremy, you are a witness to this event. What did you find out? Well, Rick, I spoke to one of the managers of a restaurant on Ulu Niu Avenue, and in an unofficial statement, he told me without hesitation, we support HPD 100%. They have done a phenomenal job clearing the block of the drugs, weapons, and troublemakers. That's what he told me. Now, those in the area told me fentanyl and other hard drugs have been an issue here. They want more enforcement, yet, the video I shot of Sunday night's incident has raised some questions as to how that enforcement is being applied. I would hate to see another lures, one community member told me watching this video of a chaotic Sunday night in Waikiki. It started out with drama from the corner boys. I shot video from the balcony of the bar above as they clashed with cops and heckled them. All after this officer poured out a full bottle of Malibu rum he suspected was being consumed by a minor in the group. Later, the officer threatened a disorderly conduct charge in an exchange with one of two brothers. The man turns and then... An arrest and brawl in the middle of the street at 9 p.m. on a Sunday. Did it have to get to this? Our police officers can be trained in the areas of de-escalation. The last thing we need to do is to make our crowd, some of these crowds, more rowdy and cause more trouble. And that, in terms, makes it harder for the business owners, makes it harder for the police officers. State Representative Adrian Tam, among others, is questioning if there were options to stop the situation from spilling into the street. HPD's media liaison issued a statement that read, quote, the male was partially handcuffed when he pulled away and went into the street, followed by officers and members of the public. That is not evidenced in what I taped. HPD also cites complaints on Ulu Niu Avenue, quote, involving public drinking, fights, and running, and skateboarding in the area. One neighborhood board member says more police activity is welcome, but... Apparently the gentleman, the officer, got angry. Why are the problems in Waikiki escalating? There's no excuse for what's happening here. If you have to walk your officers instead of putting them in a car two by two down the street, which is what we've requested. If you have to make Pavilion 4 a substation, then you'd get this section of Waikiki covered. Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News. Well, we contacted the chief of police's office directly by phone and email. No response at all. The media liaison's office did not return multiple calls and refused to answer the question if the arrest by the officer followed protocol. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.